Reddit is the place where a lot of well-known internet mysteries have been birthed or gained traction. More notably, memories that people have from way back of a show, video game, song, or anything of the sort that they remember the strange or sometimes even disturbing details to, but can't find on their own. There was the evil farming game where you supposedly viciously murdered your wife that turned out to just be a misremembered Vine Soft stream. Celebrity number six, which is the still unidentified celebrity on a fabric from the 2000s, or the children's book where the suicidal boy turns himself into a gas pump by eating an abacus. These are all fairly well-known Reddit mysteries that, whether solved or unsolved, stem from people trying to find things they remember from the past. r slash tip of my tongue is the home for these kinds of mysteries. It's a subreddit that is entirely dedicated to finding people's forgotten media, or even if you forgot what shrimp was called. The examples that I listed off are known, have been covered, and don't need another person to go over them. So what about the lesser known? The ones that still remain unsolved, some even years later, and presumably always will, due to their lack of internet attention. So I wanted to give them some spotlight. Strange cartoon about a disturbing green man I saw as a child. OP starts off saying they watched a short on Cartoon Network as a kid that freaked them out. The characters and locations looked like they were made of clay, and it was a stop-motion animation. It featured a small, green, nearly bald man who looked like a mix of a zombie and Igor. This man possessed strange, puckered lips with not many other facial features. OP then goes on to describe the two scenes that stuck out most. The man stares into the camera as he consumes wet red guts, but OP can't remember where or who the guts came from. The second was a scene where the man is walking across a hill at night while there is a starry sky and trees in the background. Which, for some reason, that description sparked something in my head making me feel like I remembered this, but if that memory is real, it's probably not the same cartoon. Although, multiple commenters claimed they remembered too, so maybe it was the same. The user drew some sketches hoping it could jog someone's memory, as can be seen here. They are pretty certain it aired on Cartoon Network, or when it would switch to Adult Swim, as they thought they watched it late at night, noting they wouldn't be surprised if it was some experimental animation from them. People were quick to suggest Salad Fingers, Invader Zim, Mr. Meaty, and Robot Chicken. OP said the Robot Chicken lead makes sense, as the animation style, era, and network all match up, but there's been no clip found and there's a good chance it isn't related to Robot Chicken at all. They clarify multiple times that it is not Salad Fingers because they had no internet access at that time and had already seen all the episodes prior to the post. Yet, people kept suggesting Salad Fingers anyway. Among other ideas were Bump in the Night, Gumby, The Hunchback from Courage the Cowardly Dog, or one of the many bumpers on Adult Swim. A convincing lead was when Moral Oral was brought up, as an uncannily similar gut-eating scene takes place. However, OP doesn't seem to think this is the correct show, but acknowledges it's a good suggestion and might not be impossible that it's it. But user ShamDamDoodly responded to this comment saying, In my experience with these sorts of things, when you know, you know. And I completely agree. This is a highly detailed post, and I'm confident this could be found if it just caught the right eye or gained popularity again. The last edit of this two-year-old post is confirming it's not Hoopla Fish from Spongebob, but that the suggestion is really funny to them and that they love it. I sincerely hope that one day this cartoon can be found. I need help finding a cat video that caused me childhood trauma. Okay, don't worry, this isn't anything legitimately gruesome, just distressing for a young kid, and certainly not what traumatizing video might come up in your head when you think disturbing cat video. In this post, another user recalls an unsettling childhood memory they have of their own. 
A majority of tip of my tongue posts seem to be rooted in childhood, and this is not an exception. In fact, all but one of these entries comes from people summoning memories from when they were children. Which makes it all the more hard to find when you take into account the time that has passed, both in your brain with faulty memories and in the world of media itself. It was a jump scare style video, the thumbnail being a Pikachu cat in a title mentioning something regarding cute cats. The first few images showed typical adorable cat photos, but then cuts to a man who supposedly resembles Keegan-Michael Key, says something along the lines of, aw, cats are cute, so let's take a look at these. The video proceeds to blast what OP describes as spine-chilling music and shows disturbing and edited images of cats. They only saw four of the cats before their mom came in to turn off the computer as the jump scare caused them to scream, but details that the last cat was white and fluffy with dozens of realistic eyes covering it, and in a later comment states that the worst was of a cat that appeared to be being pulled out of its skin. People were saying it reminded them of something you would have seen on a bomb's world or a bino black sheep, as there's an abundance of similar videos out there. Wild Youth Cat asked how long the video was, to which OP replied, five years at least, it could have easily been longer, I also could have seen it a while after it was posted, so I would bet on longer. I meant the duration of the video. The video was five years long, his mom just turned it off before it ended. Users shared images of cats with multiple eyes, but this specific one could supposedly have been the exact photo used in the video. Someone suggested the flapjack cat, and OP thought this may have also been included. When questioned about why they'd want to relive the torture of seeing the video, they answered that they wanted to face their childhood trauma as they were almost 18 and wanted to make some things come full circle. The comments on this post are full of people sharing their own comparable experiences as growing up on the internet definitely had a lot of cons. I remember liking this baby trick video as a really young kid that some of you probably remember, and once my family accidentally played a version of it where he gets blown up in a microwave. This video still exists though. Someone added how if a video like the cat video is so difficult to find, imagine how it'll be when all the kids who grew up on the Elsa Gate Spider-Man shit want to find their traumatizing videos from childhood. This does raise a valid point, and children being exposed to the bad side of the internet unfortunately has not seen an end yet. It seems plenty of other people remember this video and suggested similar strange cat videos, but the original that was referred to was never found. I wouldn't be surprised if it is simply a lost YouTube video, but it would be interesting if this resurfaced and if OP could get the closure they desire. A horrific anime ad about a teen getting crushed inside a suitcase I saw in 2013 on my friend's laptop. The suitcase gradually became smaller. OP starts their post by insisting this is not a creepypasta, even though people might not believe them due to the go for a punch fiasco that they're somewhat aware of. They go on to list the events that take place in the advertisement starting with a guy that looks like Elle from Death Note who is crying and wearing a business suit. He's inside a dark room with a stone floor and a suitcase is on the ground. The suitcase is big enough for him to fit in, so he enters and curls up into it. A text-to-speech begins to narrate. The subtitles read something along the lines of very bad sadness. Next she reads, this happens, as the suitcase begins to shrink. It shows you the perspective from the interior, and the guy proceeds to repeat life. This for some reason causes him to smile, but shortly after, he is crushed by the shrinking suitcase. His bones rip apart and eyes pop out. The ad ends with the suitcase as a speck. The comments were filled less with meaningful suggestions and more with people saying this was definitely just an attempted creepypasta, despite OP's pleads that it wasn't. It was mentioned how their post history included them wishing there'd be a creepypasta revival, but I don't think this necessarily rules it out as a fake post. I'd find it likely that they had actually seen something like this, but decided to basically milk it to try to gain attention to it since it is a good candidate for an internet mystery. 
Whether real or an attempted Saki Sanobashi ripoff, I felt it was an interesting post to include. I ultimately decided to since I don't find it unbelievable or far-fetched. This person said they didn't understand why people were saying it was fake since it doesn't even sound that creepy, and I somewhat agree. I think OP accidentally made it sound more fake on their own by repeatedly adding it wasn't a creepypasta and saying the text-to-speech voice was hot not gonna lie. The last update was OP letting a commenter know they had found manga where a man gets dragged into a suitcase by a woman which felt similar but wasn't it. It wouldn't be unexpected in my opinion if this was a real advertisement, but finding it I'm sure would be difficult. A strange surreal children's book I remember being gifted as a toddler detailing murder. I think we all watched or read at least something in our childhood that was questionable on if it really should have been made for kids, but did you ever read a children's book that detailed murder? Because I don't think I did. OP received a children's book from their grandmother as a gift. They remember her reading to them and joking about how strange the plot was along with the main character. The thing is, the book was incredibly gruesome and sarcastic, to the extent that OP doubts if it was even meant for children. It begins with a girl talking about how her parents are gone in a carefree rhyming scheme. It continues onward with each relative the orphaned girl goes through living with, while the art reveals what she actually did to all of these family members. There were these clever lines about how her aunts are gone and you'd see their limbs poking out from the grass in the background. OP says the art was very edgy, much like an early 2000s emo aesthetic, and also describes as scrawly. The girl was incredibly pale and minimalistic, with black hair and black eyes. She was a young child, being around OP's age at the time of receiving it. They later go on to say they wonder if it was meant to be a parody book and not intended for children, but they distinctly remember it having an ages 6 and up labeling on the back, and it was, at the very least, marketed as a children's book. Despite the marketing towards children, it was a picture book OP says, if I'll be frank, that showed blood pooling under the door of her murdered parents' bedroom, and also her bathing in blood. The very last page showed how she only had her uncle left with a chilling smirk on her face. It's hinted she was going to kill him next when she was taken in by him. I know this book has to exist. I don't own it anymore, but I've searched for it online throughout the years and asked around. No one seems to remember it, but I remember it really messing with my head rereading it on my own at age 6. OP made some edits to their post, adding more details. They believe the background is in color, while the girl herself is in black and white. Each page only had a few lines and it all rhymed. At the time of the post, they were 16 and says the book was given to them when they were 4, so around 2007. A specific murder she remembers is one of the ants being poisoned, and they remember her bathing in her relative's blood. The little girl kills every relative she is taken in by, and plays a victim like she has no idea what happened. Someone suggested writer Edward Gorey, but his art style was too different. Pudgy Ninja asked if it could be the melancholy death of Oyster Boy and other stories by Tim Burton, which is a dark humor book for children, but it unfortunately wasn't this. Emily the Strange was brought up on multiple occasions, or how it sounded like a messed up Shel Silverstein book. Someone suggested the Graveyard book by Neil Gaiman, which is centered around a boy whose family was murdered. Another possibility was the Lenore the Cute Little Dead Girl comics, but none of these led OP to the answer. There were so many ideas that user I keep on forgetting it even pointed out how unsettling it was that there were so many different suggestions. And it wasn't long before people claimed they remembered the peculiar book. I know this book. I wish I could remember the name, but everything you say is exactly how I remember. Funny enough, it was read to us in fourth grade music class during story time, so it has to be from 2001 or even before that I'm thinking. This user thought their mom still would have the book from their childhood, but unfortunately couldn't find it, but their mom did remember it, and said they may be dealing with the Mandela effect or children's book candle cove wall. But what if I told you it was not a Mandela effect or a children's book candle cove at all? In fact, I am pretty sure this actually was solved. Not even a full year ago, as the original post was from over two years ago. 
It's unconfirmed because OP didn't deliver, but user, I almost guarantee it, commented, Charisse the niece, perhaps. We've got the rhyming, bathing in blood, murdering of ants, poison, scrawly emo art style, and it even ends with Cherie saying how she has uncles, you know? The only details that don't match up are it being entirely in black and white, while OP said the background was in color. The character was supposedly unnamed, but obviously her name is Cherise. One of the commenters who claimed they remembered it said it was in 2001, but this book was released in 2008. So it matches up with OP's time frame, and I'm gonna consider this one basically solved, although we may never have confirmation. And for some reason, this was one tip of my tongue post that I especially wanted to be solved. So much so that I would periodically just remember it and check if there had been any new findings. In fact, when I had the idea for this video, the murderous children's book was what immediately came to mind. And I honestly had already known it was pretty much solved, but I still wanted to include it. R slash tip of my tongue currently has 2 million members. If only a fraction of those members post, and if even only a fraction of those go unsolved, there are endless mysteries just waiting around that we'll presumably never know the answer to. And we all have things that we remember enough to know that it exists, but not enough to find. The unfinished memory kind of just lingers around in your head and you only wish you could see it again with your eyes. If you're lucky, a Google search or Reddit comes to the rescue when you can put your mind to rest, but that doesn't always happen. I hope you enjoyed this video and I linked below each post because maybe someone out there has the answers for these people, or maybe they will forever be unsolved. Either way, thank you.